I know what's going on YouTube, so I just didn't, didn't do a whole lot much, much in in my compact flash card that I ordered on eBay came in and then uh, just had some extra time on the computer and got to yeah yeah to have some ice cream up after supper and uh, but anyways yeah I get my next next shot shot at the Pfizer vaccine on in the, in in September so I'm just yeah, but for some reason, like a couple of years ago, oh, that my roommate, my proprietor, and her husband got sick. Yeah, and we have reason to believe that it's COVID 19. You know, it just. And I'm the one, and I'm the one who dodged a bullet, so. Like, I, I consider myself lucky sometimes. So I'm just. You know, it really, it, some, some people die, but others, they just, they're not symptomatic at all. Yeah, and just, it really, to me it seems like a nutshell, but, but, anyway, so far I've just been lucky and didn't get it. I didn't even feel sick at all. <coughs> uh, but when this pandemic ends, I'm hopefully I'm hopeful to get my dad's for Christmas this year and and then uh, you know, it just Yeah, it's fair. I mean but and I also need to remind myself that if I am not a part of a solution to this problem, part of the solution, if I'm not part of the solution to this pandemic, then, then I'm part of a problem. I mean, if you, there's got to be a simple solution to it, or anything, you know. It's not, it's not a solution if it's complicated or anything, you know. We need, the, we need that. Simplify our solutions, and yeah, that's just. I'm just gonna have, yeah, I continue on tomorrow. Oh, oh, on this vlog, so I just, oh, and just go on my computer for a bit. Another thing I've noticed is that that when when we went out to get do whatever, and it just like there's been a lot less traffic you now. People are just. Or staying at home, or just whichever, you know. All the in Alberta, all the all the school curriculums going going back to online learning, and you know, but we can. What do you do with all? I need the kindergarten. Well, well, there's been, but the fact is, like this pandemic is just is really. Caused a lot of chaos, and, you know, and just. But I mean, I would feel for her, my stepbrother, or Justin, and his you know, wife Celine, and their two girls. You know, just you know. Sometimes there are no words to some of what happened. But. You know, um, I mean, and then look at all the people in the mirror just protesting, protesting against the government health order. You know what? You know what? You need to, to just get a grip and accept the fact that that we're in, that everyone's in this together. You can't just think for yourself all the time. This is a time where we need to need to at least band together and help stop the spread. Yeah, and from what it looks like, you come the, from what I've seen, there's been, for the past couple, couple of days, they are, 
our, our new caseload every day it has dropped for it, but quite a bit so hopefully it'll it'll do better and you know just but please I'm begging you just if you can just stay home or mask up and keep sanitizer with you so that you can so just in case you you run into someone well, or anything like that but sanitizer especially for like handling like surfaces you know anyways all right so I just got home from outreach this morning and then right now I'm just I just had to had to fill out some insurance form for my for my disability benefit and don't know why but I think the government is trying to clamp down on things just to save money and but, but at what cost is going to co cause for people with disabilities people need these people need, need a life need money to just to you know just to even be able to afford the things they need, they need that are important in our life and quite often those on assisted living just don't they don't have have, have it because they don't have a job because they can't and work a job that that's so that just I don't know like their physical disabilities just can't they can't even work a job but I mean I'm I'm still able-bodied but I'm mentally dis disabled so you know and I need I need the money so I can and be able to afford things I would that I would like so I just yeah yeah, and that's basically it. And, but yeah, like it's just been it's just, it's just yeah. To me, it's just kind of been of a been 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 a bit of a from I me. Mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it, but. I think our government is trying to save money you know, wherever they can and and basically just and you know, try to create save taxpayers money you know, because our economy is not going doing the greatest and but I don't think they're going to survive the next election though I think the NDP are going to co come back and and squash them so Hopefully, and that's what I'm hoping that, that will happen next year. So just before supper, we he found that there was like three go gosling geese goslings. There's like four geese goslings that crossing the street down from our place. So we just got we ended up getting them and. And we phoned the animal control, wildlife control, and they got and they got him about half an hour, I believe. Don't know, but it just it was a surprise, you know. Like, I mean, you gotta care for the for the wildlife, if you know. But you gotta let them run wild and free. So like, yeah. So like. And everything's been doing a lot better now. Nowadays, I'm tr doing what I'm doing to build my trust back up, and then, then, yeah, then hopefully, you know, be able to have all my cameras out so I can just cho choose what which one I want for the day, and then that'll be it. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this vlog by saying that these last these last couple of days have just been very good, and. And um, hopefully my then they're gonna hopefully I don't my 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 P CPP disability benefit doesn't affect my niche, but who knows? So, anyways, stay tuned for more vlogs. Until then.